Welcome back to Who Shows. Um, last time on Who Shows, we uh, built a NFT hydroponic system. Um, and with the system, I had already started some seedlings for it. But the problem I was having with the seedlings is that I was using propagation domes like these. And the seedlings were sitting in uh, the growing medium, which is rock wool, uh, directly on the bottom. And the um, root systems weren't protruding through the bottom, which made it really hard to put them into the NFT system because uh, it relies on the roots touching the nutrient film. Without the roots touching the nutrient film, they can't absorb water and nutrients so i had to make the base of the growing medium touch the nutrient film uh, which isn't ideal so in this video i'll be showing you how to make an aeroponics seedling propagation system so first you'll need to figure out uh, with whichever propagation media you're using to start the seeds um, what the best hole size is. Um, smaller is better because um, you don't want them falling through into the reservoir. Uh, with my rock wall cubes, um, I've gone for a 35 millimeter hole saw and I'll be drilling straight through the top of the container and then placing the rock wall directly into the container. Um, You'll need 13 millimeter poly pipe, uh, 13 millimeter barbed tees, uh, 13 millimeter barbed elbows. Uh, I've got some micro jets, full circle mist sprays for the misting of the nutrient solution. I've got a um, Aquapro water feature pump uh, with a maximum flow of 550 liters per hour and a maximum height of 95 centimeters and a 12 millimeter gauge. For the humidity domes, I've purchased two seedling propagation domes, and I'll just be using those on top of the reservoir and um, the bottoms and the seed trays I won't be using today. So let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna mark out where we want our holes uh, so that we can um, get a fairly even um, pattern going. Alrighty, now that our reservoir is done, we can put that aside for the second and we'll assemble the pump and mister. So I'm going to have the pump with the mister coming out the top and supporting its own weight by um, putting elbows in an appropriate section. So I'll show you how that looks. This is the sprayer um, hose design that I've come up with to um, attach the uh, misters to. Um, essentially, I've made it this way so that it holds itself up and won't fall over rather than the pump holding it up. And, um, and I've done it so that 
it gives a good distribution of uh, mist. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and put the misters on, and then we can test it. To put the misters onto the pipe, you just need to poke a hole in the um, irrigation tubing and then push it through um, and then there's a thread on the mister that you twist um, but don't over, over tighten it. Alrighty, let's put it together. So as you can see, um, the structure actually holds itself up. So we don't need to rely on the pump, which means that it won't fall over. We'll put it together to see what it looks like. So here it is in action. There we go guys. Now I've got my very own aeroponics seed starter. Now, um, obviously you can use this for cloning as well. If you um, take clones of any of your plants, uh, all you have to do is make a puck the size of your hole and dip your cutting in cloning gel and just insert it into the, the hole. Um, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, I'll see you next time on Who Chose.